Hey guys, I'm Marina. Welcome to the channel. So today I'm with Yuta from That Japanese Man, Yuta. So he just came uh, from Japan. How long ago? Like a week ago? A month ago. And he wrote me a message on Twitter and we decided to connect and we're like, we've been in touch for a really long time and we've never met. So this is really cool that he was actually able to come here and do this video with me. Um, so today we're going to be talking about uh, North America versus Japan. Okay. Yeah. So in North America, women generally outright says like, this is what I like, this okay. is what I don't like. Does that happen in Japan? It could happen in Japan, but much, much less because our communication uh, tends to be more less direct. So would you like to go to a uh, Thai restaurant? And if you are like, you know, um, so I'm like, oh. that means no. We, we use like, a lot of like a noises, right? Rather than directly saying no, you uh -huh. know, I don't want to, you know, go there. Yeah. You want like, oh. So when North American guys go to Japan, they're like, oh wow, Japanese girls are so agreeable. They're so agreeable. They're so, you know, they're not. They're not but they just don't not. know how to read these yeah, girls. Exactly. So let's do like a situation where I'm going to try to read what you mean. Can we do that? I, I'm, I'm supposed to be indirect. Yes, you're okay, supposed to be okay. indirect and I'll be like the Let's North American. Uh -huh. I'll be from America. Do you want to, do you want to go to this restaurant? Uh, maybe if you, if you want. Okay, you don't want to go to the restaurant. Do you want to, I don't know, do you want to go take a walk? Uh, yeah, sounds like a good idea. I really don't know what you <laughs> mean. Is that a yes or no? It's a, it's a weak yes. What is this? Okay, Yuta, do you want to go see the Colosseum in Rome? You better already say been yes. there. Listen, <laughs> don't you bark with me. <laughs> no, okay, you should say like, let's, let's go to a Thai restaurant because I love Thai restaurant. But now you're just being North American. <laughs> <laughs> this relationship is not working. <laughs> and so on the date, it's similar then. The girl is like, oh, so cold. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They suggest that if you take a girl, you know, for a walk or a long date, mm -hmm. you have to like, kind of like, uh, uh, take a break once in a while. Mm. Even though she doesn't say anything. <laughs> like put a timer on and like <laughs> every 30 minutes like turn her over like <laughs> cake. Yeah. Okay, so the one thing that I'm, I hear a lot about Japan is that people are, they work a lot. And they work a lot and so they don't have time for relationships. Um, I know in North America this is really true. People are, have their own startups, they're, they're, you know, they have their own businesses. They don't have time to date as much. How true is this in Japan? I think it's also true. Well, Japanese people are known for working very long hours. <laughs> well, people actually treat like, you know, getting married like a job hunting. There's, there's a word in Japanese called a uh, shiukatsu, mm -hmm. which means job hunting. Now we have this word, konkatsu, which is more like a marriage partner hunting. I think the mindset is quite similar. You're mm. gonna find somebody who fits your criteria to get married. For example, we have many uh, marriage parties mm -hmm. where you can go and find your potential marriage partner. We also have many like online marriage you know, websites. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way she talks. Well, then we should probably give you another girlfriend. This is gonna make me cry. <laughs> this is gonna make me cry too. <laughs> She seems pretty needy. It's so sad! She seems pretty <laughs> She's like a virtual needy girl. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I turned everything on for you. Come home now, you asshole. Uh -huh. She packed him an umbrella. This scene looks so lonely. It is so lonely. This is why in the news. He, he's, he's a lonely guy. He's obviously lonely. He uh, ordered a virtual girlfriend. Really Would you order one? Himself. I wouldn't. Yeah, cause I, I can get a real girlfriend if I want to. <laughs> like that's it. They're just gonna watch TV together. And how intelligent is she? She's not intelligent. Or she should be because she there's nothing be else like to as her. She could be as intelligent as Siri maybe. So what do you think yes, about that Donald Trump? What's your opinion? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what do you think about the Canadian Prime Minister? There must it's be like someone this. into that because someone's buying yeah, yeah. that stuff, right? Yeah, there are people who are into that. But it's not like uh, the majority of people. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please check out YouTube's channel where we made a video featuring us. And if you want to get some Japanese lessons, learn about Japanese culture, he's the man to go to. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because you're here. And stay tuned for next week's video. Leave your comments below. Subscribe, support, and all that stuff. Okay, and keep on breaking down your barriers. That's the second time we're doing that now, you know. <laughs> Bye.